White corn is one of our relatives. We feel that she is alive and she wants to do the job that she told our creator she would do, is to feed our people, to nourish them. The work that we do, if we didn't have this, we, we would lose everything. For a few thousand years, uh, Potawatomi people have been incredible farmers and have grown lots and lots of varieties of crops. The seed library is a place where we take crops which are disappearing, um, rare and endangered Potawatomi vegetables, and we grow them out and we restore them and put them back in the hands of native farmers. George Martin carries the Potawatomi tradition of making damnabu or corn soup. In our seed library, we have 76 unique varieties of corn. Each one has its own cultural identity, its own unique flavor. After a while, when we stir it, you'll see how tough it gets to stir it. Our corn is a lot different than other corns which are out there. If we didn't have the seed library, these traditional foods might be gone forever. Within our seed library, 80% of the varieties which we take care of are rare or nearly extinct. Some of the varieties we care for here, we're the only place in the world which has them. This one's gonna be a nice one. Four years ago, when we first got the Nugasig Nugar white flower corn, we only had a half a canning jar, a very small amount of seed. We've grown it every year since, and now we have enough that we may have 100 bushels full. Um, that's enough that next year we could plant six or seven acres of just this corn. That's a huge increase. It is important that we take, that's what we were sent down here for, to take care of Mother Earth and all her creations here. And that corn realizes that we're back using it again, and that we're going to use it in a feast. It makes the corn feel good that they're being used by our people again. It's done and it's ready to eat. っていうか、皆さん見られてびっくりされますし、みんなからまだ売れてないんだよねって言われるんですけど、色が白くて種が赤く手締めやすい人です。いちごを作っています。白い宝石というブランドの名前のいちごをで販売しています。ワンパック約4000円ほどで販売をしております。白い宝石は基本的にま世の中に白いイチゴっていうのたくさんあるんですけど、その中でも格段に白くて大きい単に類を見ないイチゴですよ。私以外の人は現状として作っていません。栽培
いちごで他の果物の味がするとか甘いとか美味しいとかお客さんに絶対このいちごは間違いないと言われるまで突き進むしかないですね。In the fertile hills of Derbyshire, England, one man is cultivating something unique. I'm Gavin Munro, I grow furniture. This is our furniture orchard. We've got chairs this side, lamps over here, tables a little further around that way, and、uh, all manner of things in between. The original idea came from realizing that the way that we make furniture now is that we have to grow the trees for at least 50 years and then we cut them down and we make them into smaller and smaller and smaller bits before sticking them back together again. Why bother with that at all? Why indeed? Gavin trains the branches of young trees by attaching them to specially made forms. He then grafts them together to form one solid piece. Slowly, they grow into fully formed pieces of furniture. But exactly how slow are we talking? For a chair to grow, that takes five to ten years, depending on the species. The thing is, if you're thinking about this in the bigger picture, then by the time you've grown your tree for 50 years, we'll have at least ten generations of chairs rolled out. While it seems slow, in real terms of making things out of wood, it's actually pretty quick. When we harvest the trees, we're not killing them. The varieties that we use all grow back again the next year. On the environmental front, it's not just efficient, it's uber efficient. Well, we've only waited 10 years for that. <laughs> <laughs> we've got this lovely curve coming up here. When we sand this down, this little triangle is going to look gorgeous. You got it? Yep. We can get them into the workshop, and the fun begins on the production side, and we can start to kind of bring together geometry and nature. The finishing is where we can really let that shine. And no one can deny that Gavin's furniture is beautiful, but is it functional? Not only do we think that they'll be stronger, they'll be way stronger because they're one solid piece, there's no joints to come loose. What we're doing here is collaborating with the trees. It's kind of a beautiful way of working, really. There's a world renowned topiary garden in the tiny town of Bishopville, South Carolina, and that garden was created by this man. A man named Pearl. I'm Pearl Fry, and this is my garden. Pearl started the garden in 1981 with the goal of winning Yard of the Month from the local garden club. I went to a neighborhood to buy a house, and the reason they didn't want to sell me a house, they said I wouldn't keep up the yard. There was a stereotype at the time that African Americans didn't keep up their yards. So I figured if I let win Yard of the Month and the person that made that statement could understand you can't judge people by one person. Once I got Yard of the Month, people couldn't believe it. Pearl now has over 300 plants, most of which were throwaways that came from the recycling bin at a local nursery. I don't water, I don't spray, I don't fertilize. I use no chemicals. It's all natural. It's all pretty well done organically. Some of my tallest plant that was recycled is around 30 feet. So many people drove by Pearl's house to see his garden that he opened it up to the public. It looks like a sheep. I would say about 10,000 people visit my garden every year. What else do you want to look at on the map? People come from all over the world to see it. I've had people from Australia, Japan, Korea. I wanted to share it because so many people came out and wanted to see it. He 
very seldom see something start out so simple and make an impact that this God has made. The garden is about love. And the last thing you see before you leave my garden is love, peace, and goodwill. El desfile del Jipao nació hace más de 25 años. Lo que se buscaba era como reflejar nuestra identidad, nuestra idiosincrasia y a lo que nos dedicábamos nosotros los campesinos. Mi familia lo hace por... el desfile del Jipao lo hace por pasión. Es algo muy dispendioso y si no hubiese pasión no estaríamos aquí. Mi nombre es Adriana Patricia Durán, hace más de 20 años mi familia venimos participando en lo que es el concurso del desfile del Jipao. El desfile del Jipao es una manifestación cultural donde se le hace un reconocimiento al Jeep, que es el que ha llevado al desarrollo a nuestra región. Inicialmente la economía y el transporte se hacía a lomo de mula porque no había las carreteras por su estado, entonces adoptamos el g -Wood. Entonces, como nuestro departamento es de vocación cafetera, mi familia pensamos, qué bueno reflejar en un jipao lo que es la cultura del café. Entonces, mi carro va engalanado con todo lo que se utiliza en la finca cafetera para llegar a procesar una pepa de café se demora uno alrededor también de dos días organizando y haciendo el montaje del vehículo. Se monta cosita por cosita y se amarra cada una cosita minuciosamente, porque cada cosita cuenta una historia. El desfile del Jipao va, se desgaja en varias categorías y participamos en varias categorías. Está la categoría de carga agrícola, también concursa mi esposo en esa categoría, Artes y oficios también concursamos, que es mi categoría. El concurso del Jipao, la premiación es dinero y ganó casi todos los años. Y primer puesto para el Jeep número uno, Adriana Patricia Durán. Aparte de ser una manifestación cultural, es algo familiar. Detrás de cada Jipao hay una familia y detrás de cada familia hay una historia. Entonces los concursantes cada año casi siempre somos los mismos, pero como vienen nuevas generaciones detrás nuestra, crece más porque es como el legado que dejamos en cada uno de nuestros seres queridos. <música> 